Welcome. All right, the Shangu 25 minute assembly from start to finish, squeezed into a five minute video for you, beautiful people. All right, so yes, I am in my pajamas in this opening. So I just want to be comfortable, give it to you real, you know what I mean? I mean, there's no fakeness. I wanted to put out a video, and what's a better way to show you that it's real, man? There's no script, nothing. This is exactly what it is. Order something on Amazon, get it shipped, and let you know exactly how I feel. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is also up there with My Hero Academia. Oof, just some greatness. Just some greatness. All right, let's get back. No power tools necessary. It comes with an L-angled two-in-one screw and Allen wrench. Now these parts, uh, they're like a Lego. The, the where the wheels sit, they're they're like Lego pieces. Not hard at all. And actually, I had to turn it upside down and whack it a few times on the carpet to get a full seal. So if you have a mallet, that would probably work too. And even for the wheels, there's no screwing involved. All you gotta do is push and put a little pressure, give a good little palm whack, and you're set. Boom, look at that, just like that, all five. Now on to the next step, the brains of the operation. Just doing a check here, and the wheels are working, so now it's time to see exactly how you put the, the gas chamber in, and it's literally a slide in. Uh, through pressure, it will not fall through when you put the seat on top, so I just wanted to make sure and show you guys. Let's go ahead and read these instructions, making sure everything's coming out correctly. You do have a few different screw sets and an empty package. There's one little small screw, I'll explain that later. Uh, everything is really easy, honestly, it really is. Uh, you can count to three, you can assemble this thing by yourself, no problem. Now, I just wanted to zoom in. That part where all the mechanical things are, with the when you push the gas to put the chair up and go down and the recliner, it's already assembled. You don't need to do that. It's already set up for you, baby. And coming into these little parts here, this is for the leg rest. Uh, this is, again, very simple to assemble. Couple twists, couple turns, and boom, it's a slide in. There's a little tiny screw that the camera is going to zoom in on, on this picture. It's on the left hand side. If you wanted to pause the video, you're more than welcome to. It's not in dire importance. I mean, it really not unless you're going to pick up the chair and move it around a lot. Uh, the screw is only there to stop the footrest from sliding out. And right here, we're putting in the armrest. It does say two people, but haha, you don't need two people. You, got, you can do it on your own. Uh, what I did is just leveled it with my left arm. And once I secured the right hand, the right arm rests, I went on to the left one. So those two parts, this is how you slide it in literally. Just push, pull, you're in, bingo. Now the little foot rest does flip up. Uh, it's not too reliable. The exclamation marks is just because that to the left of the screen is where the little screw is. But the slide in, I don't really trust it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Everything else is okay. <laughs> and boom, baby, we got action. The swivel is good to go. Wanted to double check the mechanics on the gas release, lifting up the chair and lowering, and everything seemed to be good. So let's move on to the back rest. Now, I was gonna originally show the actual instructions, but they were pretty much legible it's like legos you put one to two uh the the screws are a little bit confusing i took a little while on that one but uh other than that exactly what you see it's point push screw tighten that's it now that the t-shape is all good to go we slide her in connect it with the bottom make sure everything is good and legible it's not going to fly out that's where you tighten it for the reclining part right there, that little mechanism. And that doesn't tell you inside the instructions. FYI, uh, we're moving on to the cushions. This is the back cushion. I mean, you can always upgrade. No lie, you can always upgrade. Not a problem, I like it. Let's go to the headrest. The headrest had a couple of things like hanging out of it. It's like the inside of the pillow, but I went ahead and fixed it. No issues there. Still great, it's really comfortable, it really is. And comes to the end, the final product. There she is in all her glory. The Sean Koo, ordered off Amazon, came and assembled within 
25 minutes.